the warmest water I've been in since going to Miami. Oh my god! What? In the world? <laughs> Look at that, I'm not the only weird one with one wheel. Whole wobble of them. Hey, where's your wheel? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I got Oh my gosh, I got that. That was so good. Oopsie daisy. I can't believe my van made it up that. But it did. Yes, 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 yes! Yes, yes!
Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I should probably try something. Oh! Oh! oh. The way he's going, that looks fun. Oh. Whoa, Jamie, different line. Look at him. Oh! You okay? Yeah, Ah, so you put like this, Here, then you have to cross your elbow. I can connect behind my back. <laughs> that's good. One, left. The other one. And back. Now you have to turn this.
that's a melody, right? Yeah. A song from yeah. my father. Ba -da -da -da. Yeah, like, why would my brother be carrying a shotgun? Because I love her. She's my like, oh, what is this? Yes! The Noli. Whoa, uni down. Last day of the California Mountain Unicycle Weekend.
got it. What a very cool stage, eh? close competition be between Akira and Noli and it was like back and forth like every every jump was like an inch farther <laughs> and then Noli ended up winning yeah. so and I was gonna give him one anyways for like the gnarliest yes on the flood <laughs> and like doing like he was doing some crazy drops yesterday and, <laughs> If I had more two dollars, he would have got like three or four. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to give one to the person that traveled the farthest. And he also won the brake coasting competition by going to Revolution. And that is Ettore. <laughs> I want to give to the only female rider. Not only is it cool to have female, female muni riders, but she was awesome. She kicked ass. Yeah. She was so good. And she's only been riding for like a year and three months. Yeah. So, Aww. you get the last. Now you're <laughs> um, I also want to thank both the families, so Cedar's family for having us, like big round of applause. Like, and of course Akira and his family for uh, all the, everything. A big round of applause for them. Like, so I have a couple things, and I put all the unicyclist names in an envelope. Um, the first prize is a unicycle necklace, 
You've Ooh, probably seen yeah. me with it. Yeah. And there's only like 10 of these in the world, so wow. this is kind of cool. This one yeah. goes to... Drum roll. <laughs> Molly. <laughs> Jimmy. Nolly. Starfighter break thing where it makes you break better and more in control. Okay. I don't think you have one, do you? Yeah. The next prize is a unicycling mm. unicorn trucker hat. <laughs> Unicycling is everything to me. It's my career, it's my life. I've been doing it for 30 years now and I'm fortunate enough to turn my passion into my job as a professional performer and unicyclist. I love doing it. It's just so unique and special and makes people smile. Even when I'm riding in the woods, I pass people and it always makes people smile, which is awesome. When I'm in the mountains or on a trail, it's just so peaceful and quiet. Uh, it's not like a bike, so you don't have all the chain and all the, the noises of things clanking around. A unicycle is just simple and quiet and peaceful and very zen. So yeah, unicycling is everything to me. There are more mountain unicycle events than there are general unicycle events in the U.S. So that's great to be able to go to mountain unicycle weekends uh, regularly throughout the year. It's much more challenging than mountain biking. It's just a long grind getting through the whole trail. You can't really just say, ah, I'm tired of giving up and walk back to your car. So you pick a trail, you ride your darndest, and discover cool sessioning spots along the way, and makes for a great day. I love unicycling because it's a really good form of exercise. It's a good excuse to get out of the house and to go to some really beautiful places to ride and to meet some really cool people too. Manta unicycling means being free. Free in the nature, free in the mountains, free of any talk, free with friends, free to try, free. Mountain unicycling is probably just about the greatest thing I can think of. Like, everybody rides bikes, but who rides a unicycle? And even within that group of weirdos, what kind of freaks want to ride on the mountain? It's always just a lot of fun. It's very mentally and physically straining, I guess, because you're always having to think, always having to think about your lines, your choices, where your pedals are, if you're going to hit a rock or something. It's always physically challenging, too. It's just a really, really fun sport, and I've been able to meet some really, really cool people through it, and it's just completely changed my life for the better. <gasps> 
Unicycling is really fun and it's a great challenge that doesn't make you give up but makes you learn more about who you are and your limits and what you can do on a unicycle. It's pretty remarkable that you can stay balanced on a single wheel going over technical terrain. I mean, that's pretty mind-blowing. You meet people along the way who are really unique and super fun to be around. Living so close to Yosemite has definitely been a huge blessing because we have amazing trails that are really well suited for unicycles. My best friend Akira actually got me into unicycling and that was about a year and four months ago and I love it so much and I'm going to continue as long as I can. Yeah. So basic.